Hey guys, Cameron with CBM Reviews, and we are here at Arkansas Comic Con with the one and only Greg Sipes. You may know Greg Sipes from Beast Boy, from Teen Titans, Teen That's Titans right, Go, mamas. and even Young Justice. He's been in other shows as well, but we're going to talk about the more comic book related things with I ain't him. playing around. Greg, it's great but to have you here. How has everything been going yeah, with the con? I'm having a lot of fun. All right. I like Little Rock a lot. I okay. Like the people, the vibes, the scenery. Great. I don't want to leave. Well, you eventually have to go and get some work done. That way that's you can true. come back. That's true. That's true. I'm making so, a lot of cool things right now. So it is true that your very first voice acting gig was on Teen Titans. Beast Boy was your, were, your was your first, very first hurrah. First ever audition. And you have been doing this voice now, or doing the Almost character now. Almost 20 years I've been playing Beast Boy. Almost. I made him a vegetarian, now he's a vegan, he's evolving like I am. Not only did he work with the character, but he worked on the character and made an, a huge change to how he uh, kind of acted, as well as those things. Well, now, I inspired the, the writers and the showrunners to, to do that. So yeah, I, I'm very grateful for them for listening to me, and uh, they've done it. That's you can have a free bracelet. There you go. It's all about the kids, yo. So, uh, not only have you done one iteration of Beast Boy, but you've done three with the regular series, the Go series, and, I've done more and than the three. Young Justice series. I've done more than three. I think I'm up to like five or six. You're up to or five, seven or eight. I must have missed those. Um, I sold out all the pictures today that have all of them. So. Um, let's talk about the one that you did in Young Justice. This was more of a serious role right. where you were the leader of the Outsiders and one of my favorite scenes from the from the series was the episode where you actually fought Granny Goodness in the red box. Yeah, I thought that was lady. amazing. Tell, tell us a little bit about uh, how that version of Beast Boy evolved to become the leader that we haven't really seen before. Well, everybody loves the color green. <laughs> uh, it's just something that's kind of fallen into my hands. I feel like the fanfare for my Beast Boy is, is pretty significant, and the show lended itself to allow Beast Boy to rise to like a leadership role, and it's working. I'm really excited for season four. Oh. Is there anything that we can look forward to besides the little hint with the Legion of Superheroes or, or anything like that? Is there I anything? I can't tell you nothing. I, we understand. It's just one of those things. If there was a slipper, we would take it. There's Beast, Beast Boys in it, though. That's for sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you have worked with your with your co-stars uh, for the longest time, almost 20 years. And yeah. you've even worked on, uh, on uh, things that aren't in the Teen Titans, like you were all the original Royal Flush Gang in the Justice League, That's and right. then you all played uh, Doom Patrol characters in season three of Young Justice. That's right. How is it working with your co-stars like Tara and Scott and, and, and everybody else? Tell we, us how it's working with we them. We just love each other, and we have the best time ever. And it doesn't matter the, the version of our characters that we play, we're always a family. That sounds great. And it comes, it comes across on the screen. On the screen on the screen. Uh, speaking of uh, all your co-stars, you'll all be in a new movie coming out later on this month, Teen Titans Go! versus Teen Titans. You're going to love it. You made me laugh a lot. How is it uh, not only uh, getting back into that familiar role, but also doing double duty playing your OG version and your new style version? It's pretty. It's like riding a bike. It's different parts of my personality and then my voice just naturally changes with the different dimensions that I exist in. All right. I don't really have to think about it at all. It just muscle memory. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, last thing I kind of want to talk about is that you still have an ongoing series with Teen Titans Go! on the Cartoon Network. That's right. So is there anything that we can look forward to? Any new uh, Bumblebee things that are happening? Or well, any new songs that I, are going to be popping say up? I there's some really good, tasty Beast Boy stuff coming up very soon. All right. Yeah, All there right. really is. And if you like... I can't tell you. You can't. He can't he's <laughs> contractually you like the, obligated not to tell you guys. But he wants to. I'm also contractually obligated not to rap, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, snap. Come on, y'all. Let's get on the scrap. You know what I'm talking about? Let's take a little nap. No, wake up. Wake up. It's time to bake up. I'm talking about the vegan cookies and the marshmallows. Come on, let's get medals, fellows. Yo, peace-loving animals. <laughs>
thank you very much, Greg, for doing this video with me. My pleasure, man. It's you fun. can catch Greg on Cartoon Network as Beast Boy in Teen Titans Go. You can you try can, to catch me. You can try to catch him, but he turns into that cheetah. He's got that That's cheetah right. speed, yo. Also, you can catch Beast Boy in Young Justice Outsiders. The season just finished up on the uh, DC Universe DC app. DC Universe. We'll see you there, y'all. DC Universe right there. Boom. We're all outsiders. Hashtag That's that. That's right. We're all outsiders. And you can also catch him coming up later on in this month, the Teen Titans Go versus the Teen Titans movie. You can catch that uh, on digital download. As always, and, oh, if you come up here to Arkansas Comic Con, you can say hi to Greg and you can say hi to Wingman if he's not taking a nap He's as he was this time. Anyway, thank you very much for doing this interview with Peace, me. Peace, love, and animals, y'all.